Bonjour, hello, and welcome to Montreal, and congratulations on your acceptance at Concordia University. My name is David Edelman, and I'm a Concordia journalism student. I know right now you're getting off the plane and you're a little bit nervous. You don't know where to go, who to speak to, what to do, where to eat. But luckily, I spoke with some past and present Concordia International students that have some advice for you. Hola, my name is Lucia. Hi, my name is Diego. Donc je m'appelle Cédric, uh, Cédric Zouton. Ni hao. My name is Bo. Bonjour, je m'appelle Sarah El Kaldi. Gina Languni, Eric Moses. That's uh, in Swahili. My name is Van and I'm originally from Mauritius. I'm from Venezuela and I've been here for two years. My name is Marvin, I'm from the Bahamas. I am an American from New York. Hey, my name is Tarek Riemann. I'm an international student and welcome to Concordia, welcome to Montreal, welcome to Canada. Let's go. Cheers. <laughs> Finding a place to live in Montreal is going to be difficult, but luckily Concordia has services such as off-campus housing and job bank, Hojo for short. And don't worry, Aloué isn't a last name, it actually means for rent. So my first day in Montreal, uh, that was a pretty scary day for me because I I found myself in an all French speaking dorm. I was going to have to either learn French fast and make friends or be one really lonely American. Well, I can say now that I don't have a good French and I'm really capable of doing my studies in French here in Montreal. Hopefully you have more money than I do. Get a bank account early. Opening up a bank account in Montreal is easy. All you need is your proof of residence, or your student ID, or your letter of admissions to the university. And there's so many different branches all around Concordia that you'll have no problem picking your favorite bank. I wish people told me not to taste the poutine because that was the most horrible thing I've ever tasted in my life and I don't know why people love it. It's, um, it's different. I do wish people warned me about that. I also wish people warned me about good shoes to wear in the winter because that was hard. It was a hard lesson to learn walking around with cold feet. So I know right now it's the summer in Montreal, but winter sneaks up on us very fast. So prepare yourself when you can. It was around 25 degrees in Lebanon and I arrived here it was minus 35. It feels like minus 40. My parents gave me like a lot of clothes and it was Lebanese clothing like it was a bit of a leather jackets and you know how much parents care back home so like they threw on this all these clothes on me and they told me okay so now you're good to go to Canada. There's so much other stuff to do when you come to the city that phones are the least of your concerns but it's actually a pretty important thing to have in a city especially when you meet friends and you want to get people's numbers you want to go out but luckily there's so many different providers in Montreal you won't have a problem picking them. I strongly recommend you to apply for the permanent code. You just have to go on my Concordia student services and fill out the form. Get that stuff done in advance. Really go to the international students office. They're great with helping you on that stuff. Uh, my advice on nightlife, because apparently that's my specialty. <laughs> Everyone will tell you that. Uh, we're on Crescent. So during the day, especially during the summer, you know, you have terraces, you have everyone outside, and then you have Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent it's not a daytime uh, activity, it's more nightlife. Old Montreal is absolutely incredible to go to. I, I, when I came here, I first sticked around this area, Concordia area, McGill area, um, but I did regret not going to Old Port as much as I should have. It's where you feel the most of Quebec culture around here. The other thing is you always have to tip. Even if you don't like this service, you, got, you have to tip because they're going to say, why didn't you tip me? So tip. And what I love most about Concordia, anywhere I go around the area, I have unlimited access through my Wi-Fi. All you have to do is log on to my Concordia portal and the rest is history. My advice for incoming international students is to be really engaged in, in the school. Obviously you really want to learn about Montreal, your school, and also about your professors and your program. Get involved in school, really. I mean, I came to study here and, and when I started meeting people from the Latin American Student Organization, I started to feel a little more at home, a little less homesick. I was around people that, that understood me. Um, and so just really look for people that, that maybe come from your country or come from a similar area or that you can identify with. So my best advice I can give you is to join CISA. CISA is the Concordia International Student Association. When I arrived here, I was homesick 
and then I joined uh, many events and I met great people and now I'm not homesick anymore. CISA for me is like my home away from home. As an international student, we also need our health insurance and uh, we pay our tuition fee. That fee includes health insurance fee. If, uh, if you don't feel well, you can just go straight to health service there and uh, they can give you some great help. Welcome to Montreal's metro system, one of the best subway systems in the world. To get around, you need an Opus card. And this is my pretty face. Well, to sign up for one of these cards, you need to go to McGill College or Barry UCAM Station and you get the reduced student price if you're between 18 to 25 years of age. Concordia! So what Frosh is, is it, um, it's a week-long um, event where there's a lot of mini events, where you party, where you meet people, you have barbecues, you have a lot of fun games. So it's a really great way to um, start your memories in your uni new university, in your new home, and really get to meet amazing people. And don't forget to study. <laughs> Montreal is an amazing place, and it's um, a house for all international students. It's like a big house for a huge family of people from all over the world. If you have any other further questions, come visit the International Student Office here in the Hall Building, room 653. Anything from homesickness to emergencies to dealing with visas, they're here to help. Have a good night.